Hello, this is Steve Minotonis of Katsu Global, and I'm going to demonstrate to you the use of the Katz Nano device. Katz Nano device is like this. You can easily set it up this way so you can easily see it. To turn on, press the power on button a few seconds. You see the Katz Nano logo appear. And then the next screen, you just confirm. Confirm that you will use it according to our specifications. The passcode is zero, 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 and enter. And now you're in the main screen. Uh, for the purposes of people with broken bones or torn ligaments, etc., we recommend only using the cut cycle. I'll turn it on here. And now we're in the cut cycle machine. Uh, I'm going to show you how to put on the bands. This is the COTS unit, the COTS arm bands, the COTS leg bands, which are wider and longer than the arm bands, and then the connector tubes. You see I've already connected the left arm, and I'm going to now put on the right arm. But you can see the difference in my coloration and vascularity. The right hand does not have cots on yet. The left hand does. You can see the veins and the difference in coloration. This means that the blood is going into the limb as normal, but is being reduced coming back. You can see the coloration on both sides. This allows blood pooling. When blood pooling occurs, nice fresh um, blood bringing nutrients to the injured area. It does not matter if the injured area is below the um, band or above the band. Um, to put on the armband, it's a little complicated. You snap on, so you hear that snap sound. Snap on the connectors, then connect the end of the tube into the side of the machine, press it firmly, and now you put your arm through the band with the tube facing down or toward your wrist, like this, preferably above the clothes, above your bicep, above the tricep, but below the shoulder, near your armpit. We call this the outer band and the inner band. Hold the outer band with the hand of the arm that you have it on. So with the right band, hold it with the right hand, pull it, and then put it snugly. Not too tight, but snugly means your finger can barely get inside. Once I have the bands on, make sure they're comfortable. You want to check your base, SKU, standard katsu unit. I'm gonna check this. And you can see that they're fairly high. They're not equal. One is 42, one is 20. I'm going to release, and then I'm gonna put the band, I'm gonna re-put the bands on. Because one side was 45, the left, and the other side was only 20 on the right. I want them roughly equal. After I equate them, I hit continue. And now we're in the main cycle screen. It always defaults on left and right side to 100. I'm doing both arms. And for the purpose of this, I'm just gonna hit cut cycle, full cycle. And the machine will automatically go. There's eight cycles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It goes for 20 seconds on, five seconds off. 20 seconds on, five seconds off, eight times. So this is the first cycle, and it's gonna reach 20 seconds. It'll shut down for five seconds, and then you'll hear a sound. That's more air filling the band, and this continues for eight times. For the purpose of this uh, demonstration, I'm gonna stop it. Let's say you're hurt and you only wanna do the right side. In this case, 
in the main screen you go to cycle and if you only want to do the right side press right this means that only the right side will fill up hit continue and when I hit full cycle you'll see only the right side be inflated the left side will not be if for example I want to uh, do only the left side I do the opposite so cut cycle hit only the left continue and when I do full cycle only the left side will fill up if you want to do both sides of course the machine use always defaults to both. I hit continue. For both, if I want to increase the pressure, I hit both, set both. And for example, I'll put this to 200, 200, 200 SKU, standard Katsu unit. Enter, I'll do a full cycle. And because it, it puts more air out, it will continue um, here. The reason why it's, the blue numbers are changing is because I'm doing what we call three-point exercises. Three-point exercises are this. Hand clenches, slow hand clenches, that's one. Two are slow and controlled bicep curls, that's two. And number three are slow and controlled tricep extensions. So the COTS three-point exercises, which we recommend for people with broken bones, torn ligaments, tendonitis, etc., are nice and controlled, hand clenches, three sets of those, three sets of bicep curls, and three sets of tricep extensions. After this finishes, let's say we finished, now we want to do the legs. We hit cut cycle, see where it says arm. When I do legs, I just hit that and it becomes a leg. I hit it back, it goes to arm and leg. For the leg exercises, we simply put the band very high up on the leg near the groin. Again, like the arms, you put it very tightly. Put the buckle on the outside of the leg. Pull one way with the inner band and the other way with the outer band. And then you hook up the tube as you would the arms. Again, you see the tube down here, connect with the click, and you can do heel raises, you can do toe raises, you can do squats, you can stand up, you can walk, you can do anything. Thank you very much, and if you have any questions, email, call, or text us. Thank you.